the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 351, Hebrews 1-4 Jesus, the ultimate high priest. Jesus who carried out the great ministry of redeeming all humankind as the soul of God can help those who are facing persecution. First point, the nine epistles, Hebrews, James, 1 and 2 Peter, Jude, 1, 2 and 3 John, and Revelation were all written in the middle of the persecution of the Roman Empire. The atmosphere of the nine epistles was that of implementing the kingdom of God through the persecution of the Roman Empire. From AD 30 to AD 64, Christians were persecuted predominantly by the Jews. However, in AD 64, the great fire of Rome became a huge turning point where the Roman Empire started to blame Christians for starting the fire. At this time, Paul wrote to Timothy whilst in prison. With the matter of first-generation Christians and the growing persecution, many Christians who were formerly Jews started to waver and consider returning to the Jewish religion. To make matters worse, false teachers came into the church community and tried to confuse Christians even further. Because of this, first-generation leaders started to write letters to the Christians. The nine epistles, therefore, were written in order to prevent Christians from wavering. These letters were not directed to a certain sermon, but were public letters by first-generation readers for the second-generation readers to maintain their faith and to nurture third-generation Christians. Second point, the writer of Hebrews testified that prophets were there to deliver God's messages and Jesus came to fulfill the words of the prophets. The writer of Hebrews traced back to the Old Testament in order to come to Jesus Christ and moreover looked closely into the people who read the history through to Jesus in order to state where the root of faith came from. The root came from God's Son, Jesus Christ. The writer of Hebrews clearly knew very well about the Old Testament. Above all, the writer knew that Jesus had come to fulfill the laws. Thus, the writer aimed to encourage Christians who were being persecuted at the time and to not give up on their faith. The writer of Hebrews described Jesus' identity. The first was the Son of God, and here the reference came from Psalm and to Samuel. The second was that Jesus was praised by all the angels. This reference came from Psalms. The third was that Jesus governed all the earth. This reference also came from Psalm. The fourth was that Jesus created the universe. This also referenced the Psalm. The fifth was that Jesus judged the whole world, another reference from Psalm. Third point, the light of Hebrews declared that Jesus came to experience death in order to forgive our sins. The light of Hebrews compared the angels to Jesus and testified that the angels served God, but Jesus was the Son of God. However, Jesus came to the world beneath the angels in order to save all human beings. The writer moreover testified that Jesus made everyone his brothers and came as our Savior. Jesus, the Messiah, came to liberate his people from sin and went as far as to die for us. Fourth point, the writer of Hebrews teaches us to deeply reflect on Jesus who came as the high priest. 
in order to prevent Christians from returning to the Jewish religion, the light of Hebrews compared Moses and Joshua to Jesus. The aim was to help them realize that Jesus was the Son of God. The light stressed that although Moses was the leader of the Israelites, he was still a servant of God. The light then testified that Jesus was God's son and the owner of God's house. Also, Joshua was Israel's leader who led his nation into the land of Canaan, but Jesus came as our Savior to lead us into eternal life. The light went on to testify that Jesus came as the ultimate high priest who came to offer his own body to God for our sins. Believing in Jesus means that we believe in God. The writer stressed that Christians were to reflect on Jesus and to persevere through the current persecution. Fifth point, the light of Hebrews proclaimed that only those who obeyed in God would be able to experience God's Sabbath. The light of Hebrews stated that those who heard the gospel but still refused to listen, would not be able to enjoy God's Sabbath. This was a warning against the Christians whose faith was wavering due to the persecution by the Roman Empire. The writer of Hebrews wrote that the Exodus generation was unable to enter Canaan because they did not obey God. The writer also added that God had planned the Sabbath since creation. Thus, only those who obeyed God would be able to enjoy God's Sabbath. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.